So this is what uh, we covered in our lessons today. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create this video if you miss something on that uh, lab activity. Um, <clears throat> so basically, uh, I'm going to configure with version 2 on R2, uh, R3 and R1. ISP is connected as a default gateway, default uh, static route, not default gateway, uh, default gateway to R1, then R1 will redistribute that information via RIP version 2. Uh, Loopback also advertise on RIP version 2 and that should be able to ping from ISP once I put the summary route okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to start configuring from uh root of one uh, i'm not going to bother about most of the um <coughs> most of the basic commands however i'm going to put just the you know few basic command like uh, no domain no ip domain lookup sync but I would uh, I would highly recommend you to uh, put all your basic command until you you know remember everything right so I got I got few networks connected uh, I'm gonna start with uh, zero 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 uh, port which is our uh, 205 103 12 network so if i go to int s00 interface uh, i'm not gonna bother about description either so just just to show you how to connect uh you know just the basic ip addresses and subnet mask then i'm gonna put no shutout command uh, so IP address would be I'm gonna match IP address with uh, root ID so 205.103.12.1 that's for root 1 and I'm gonna put clock rate for DCE and it's a speed and no shot so I done that and uh, just made a mistake in there and that should be uh, 0, 0, 001 okay so int is 0, 0, 001 ip address would be 205 13.1 13.1 slash 24 network uh, same clock rate again shut down and I'm gonna configure my gig interface which is 1.1.1.1 in here and 1.2 into ISP so IP address 1.1.1.1 now shut down uh, is there anything else right at the moment that's it that's your basic interface configuration go to CLI Go back to IP address one nine two one six eight two dot two. I'm gonna use <coughs> slash thirty two just for the loop back address. And done that. So go to R three. Int. 
cost of three um, Actually, what we can do, we can put uh, a zero, zero, zero in here, and a zero, 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 one in here uh, to make sure <coughs> we have a good um, diagram. You know, uh, my loopback address, I did loopback three. Those who I don't know about uh, loopback address. Loopback is a software interface. We can just put one IP address. We don't have to worry about it just for the testing purposes. And IP address would be 192.168.3.3. Okay. No shot. Save that. Go to ISP. ISP domain lookup and got zero in sync. So int gig zero zero IP address no one one two 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 shut. should have <coughs> yeah I can ping that so make sure your directly connected network are you know up and running and it has a valid uh, IP address so from R2 to be one just gonna ping from here to uh, 205.103.13.1 that should be isn't it 13.1? What did I put? 2 or 3. Oh dear, I made a mistake, don't I? So INT S001. Uh, if you put IP address again, correct IP address, uh, it will override uh, the old one. So uh, 103.13.1. Okay, and that should ping now. Yep, so I can ping it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up default static route to ISP, which is our last uh, gateway resort, uh, which means if we can't find anything in, within our internal networks or uh, within our routers, and it will forward to the ISP. So do that, uh, we put IP route, exit interface or forwarding IP address which is easy to set up and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say do show IP route connected so I got three connected one is a static so I'm gonna ignore the OS uh, sorry ISP one and I'm gonna put uh, the other two into rip domain so router rip version 2 uh, network uh, no auto summary otherwise it will auto summarize to the networks um, so network 205 AC and 30.0 and I'm gonna put redistribute redistribute static so our static ip address which is that will forward it into the r2 and r3 for you know um to access isp basically so if i type show ip root 